In the past 10 years, the surgical approach to treatment of kidney cancer has undergone dramatic change. The standard used to be radical nephrectomy for all kidney cancers. Currently, many of the cancers that we are finding in patients are rather small, and it's been shown that partial nephrectomy provides equivalent cancer outcomes compared to total nephrectomy. Additionally, by providing partial nephrectomies, we preserve kidney function. It's been shown that preservation of kidney function actually prolongs survival. Robotic surgery is technically superior to traditional laparoscopic surgery, so if you're going to compare laparoscopic approaches, the robotic approach allows us to sew and reconstruct the kidney much more easily than if we were doing a traditional laparoscopic approach. All laparoscopic approaches, whether robotic or traditional laparoscopic, allow a major operation to be done through small, tiny incisions. As a consequence, patients go home often in two or three days, and when they come back to see us in two weeks, usually they've been off their pain medication for at least a week. When we do a traditional open partial nephrectomy, it involves a large flank incision in the hospital three to five days, and usually six weeks out of work, much more pain, risk of incisional hernia, so it's a much, much larger operation to achieve the same goal. When we evaluate a patient for partial nephrectomy, the main thing that we look at is the size and location of the tumor. You can think of it as like real estate. Location is the most important thing. Many of the tumors that we find now are fairly what we call exophytic or on the outside of the kidney for which partial removal is fairly easily done and can usually be done laparoscopically. Some of the deeper tumors that are more centrally located in the kidney are fairly complicated and may require traditional open partial nephrectomy as opposed to laparoscopic partial nephrectomy. Regardless, the goal always is to preserve kidney function and to do partial nephrectomies whenever possible. The data shows us that by utilizing robotically assisted laparoscopic surgery that we can provide excellent cure rates for patients with renal cell carcinoma in a minimally morbid fashion with a short length of stay and a very small blood loss. Patients should be referred here because we have the greatest experience with doing partial nephrectomy, either open or robotically assisted. In our particular practice, we also specialize in different aspects of urologic oncology. My entire focus is on kidney cancer, renal cell carcinoma, and minimally invasive techniques for treatment of renal cell carcinoma. Our ability to perform these surgeries in an even more minimal fashion is continuing to expand. For those patients who are not candidates for surgery because of uh, other health issues, our ability to treat these same cancers percutaneously, use, utilizing cryotherapy, radiofrequency, and other modalities continues to expand. So the future is bright for patients with renal cell carcinoma. Additionally, we're looking at many uh, protocols for adjuvant treatments after the cancer has been removed to prevent recurrence. We're looking at protocols for patients who have metastatic disease that need debulking surgery prior to undergoing uh, chemotherapy for their kidney cancer. So a lot of exciting uh, new things on the horizon for patients with kidney cancer.